Hey everyone, Shane here from freetechtutorials.com. I'm here today to bring you your seventh Java tutorial. In this tutorial today, we're going to be talking about arrays. So what an array is, it's a way in programming to associate multiple values with one variable. So this can be really useful whenever you have a lot of values that kind of go together, have to do with the same thing, that you don't want to have to create an individual value, or sorry, individual variable for each one. So traditionally, this is kind of the way we've done things in the past, as you can see on my screen here, is we have, um, we're going to keep going with the same scenario, kind of the test taking scenario that we've gone through in other, other tutorials. So what we've got here is we've got four names listed, and these are the people who've already completed our test. So what I've done here is I've stored each one of their names in a variable called test taker, and they're just numbered one through four. So sure, this looks pretty good, not, not too complicated. Down here we've just got little lines where it prints out each of those names one after the other. So this isn't so bad because we've only got four people who have taken our test so far. But what happens when we get to the point where there's a hundred or two hundred or a thousand for that matter that have taken our test? Well, as you can imagine, creating a thousand variables, one for each of those names, is going to get really long and it's going to be really hard to keep things organized when you get to that level. So what you can do instead of creating an individual variable for each one of those, we can create an array and put all of those those names, all the names of our test taker, into one array. And then we can access each of those names kind of one by one if we need to. So let's go ahead and take a look and, and see how to do that. So first thing I'll do here is I'm just going to erase this code I have here. And we're going to go ahead and create a very, uh, I'm sorry, an array. So the first thing we have to do to create an array is we have to tell Java what type of information we want to store in that array. So since we're doing names here, we know that that's type string. Now the next thing we have to do here is we have to put an open and closing bracket right after the data type. So what that does is it tells Java, it says, hey, I'm about to create an array, so make sure you're prepared for all the, all of the information I'm going to give you. Then we go ahead and give it a name. So we're going to name our array test takers. And now we go ahead and assign values to this array. So with arrays, since you're doing multiple values, you're not just doing one, you're going to go ahead and use an open and closing curly brace. And inside that curly brace is where we're going to put all of our values. So we're going to go ahead and type out all of our names. Remember, anytime you're working with strings inside Java, you always want to use those double quotes. And then you just want to separate each of your values with a comma. So do Shane, Jana, oops. Chris, and we'll do Sarah. There we go. So what we have here is we have an array called test takers, and in that array we have four names, Shane, Jana, Chris, and Sarah. Now one thing that's important to know about arrays is that there's a thing called an index. Now you index you don't you're not you're really seeing here you know you're just seeing names but the way that an array keeps track and keeps things organized is it assigns an index to each value in the array and the index starts at zero and it's the first one so it just counts up from zero so for instance the value Shane is stored at index zero Jana's index one Chris's index two and Sarah's index three so it's really important to remember that when you're working with arrays they start counting at zero they don't start counting at one so it's important to remember that because in the future if you're having some trouble with an array or trying to get a value out of an array you're going to need to know um, those indexes and if you don't remember it counts at zero you're never going to be able to get that first index so it's really important just remember index zero index one index two and index three and that's how we're going to pull individual pieces of information out of our array. So let's go ahead and do that now. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and print out um, some of the names from our array on our screen. So we'll go to system dot out dot print line. And remember, we want to use the print line um, function right here instead of just print because that's going to go ahead and move to the next line after it prints this line out, and it helps uh, keep things separate for us and doesn't smush it all together. So to tell it which name we want to print out, we're going to go ahead and write the name of our array. And then we're going to do open and closing brackets here. And inside those opening class, closing brackets is where we're going to stick our index. So remember, like I said, each one of these has that index number assigned to it. And based on that number we put in here, that's the value that it's going to apply to this and print out for us. So let's go ahead and say, let's print out Chris. So this is Shane's index 0, Jenna's index 1, so we know Chris's index 2.
So we go ahead and put the index 2 in here. What this should do is it should pronounce the name Chris in our output. So let's test that here. And there we go, it does do that. So let's just test it with another one, make sure it's working. We'll do index 0 to print out Shane. Test that real quick. All right, it looks pretty good. So that's how you store values into an array. And that's how you print out or choose a single value to print out from that array. And we'll talk about in the future as we get a little more in-depth um, easy ways to print out all the values of an array, but we won't go into that right now. Now, one thing I will tell you is there, this right here is not the only way to assign values to an array. You don't have to assign them um, a bunch at a time. You can assign one at a time. So what we can do here, say for example, um, all of a sudden we thought that Janet had taken our test but say we found out that it wasn't Jana that had taken our test, it was James. So what we can do here is we can actually reset the value at index 1 in our array to another value. So let's go ahead and do that. So since we've already declared our array, we don't have to tell it what type it is. We don't have to write the word string. We're just going to write the name of our array. We're going to put in what index we're, we're dealing with right now, which we know Jana's index 1 and then we're going to set that equal to a new value. So let's go ahead and set it equal to James. There we go. And so now what we do, we should have, our, in, our array should be Jane, I'm sorry, Shane, James, Chris, and Sarah. So let's go ahead and see if it really put James in place of Jana at the index one. So James should now be index one, so let's test that. And there we go, we can see that, that worked there. So this is kind of cool here because say for instance, you know, for some reason we didn't want to do this all on one line. We wanted to keep it a little bit separate and we kind of like the way that that looks. So let's go ahead and get rid of this and let's re redo our whole array. What we can do is kind of do the same thing here. Um, however, we just do it index by index. Now we still have to, what's called declare our array. So we still have to create our, create our array and we have to tell it Java what type of array it is. So we still need to do this part right here. String, open closing bracket, and do this part um, as far as naming it test takers. There we go. And that's all we have to do right there. Okay, it looks like we're getting some uh, little errors here. So I think actually, I think I may have been mistaken on that. I think we still need to put just an equal sign and then an empty um, opening closing curly brace. Yeah, there we go. So to to declare the um, array, it looks like you do have to make sure the equal sign is essentially, and you're initially initializing it to no value. It looks like you do need to do that here. So sorry about that. But now that we've got that set basically to no value, we can go ahead and add the values to the array one by one. So we've already got one value added here. We've got array index one equal to James. So let's go ahead and do um, the one before that would be array index zero. Oops, keep an O for some reason. And we'll set that equal to Shane. And we'll just do one more. to Chris. There we go. So now we've essentially got the almost the same thing and we didn't add Sarah in there but besides that we've got the same thing we've we had before whenever it was kind of all on one line. This is essentially just a different way of doing it. It's the same information we can still go ahead and print out um, the array the same way we have been with the name of the array and the index here um, but this is just a different way of declaring and initializing or setting those values to that array. So it really doesn't matter which way you do it. It's kind of really um, a personal preference one way or the other. So I hope this made sense. If you guys have any questions or um, don't really understand this, make sure to leave some comments and I'll help you guys out as much as I can. And uh, if you feel like you need another tutorial to kind of explain arrays, let me know and I'll be happy to do that. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.